Today we're looking at 100 crazy things I learned on TikTok, and if you can find all eight hidden blobfish, you win. You have an iPhone, you need to know this trick. I have an Let's iPhone. get it. Go to your control center settings, okay. select music recognition. Anytime there's a song on TikTok, all you need to do what? is just click the Shazam button. Nah. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna try this one right now. Settings, control center settings, music recognition. There is a button for it. Yo, I didn't know Apple had Shazam integration into it. What in the world? That is freaking fire. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be super famous where everyone wants to be around you? You're the life of the party. Yes. Well, I built an app that makes it look like you have thousands of viewers on IG Live. I then took my clout to a Miami beach club to see what would happen. Why are there so many people on here? Oh, it's an app that makes it look like there's people watching. I then took my new Antros to a club that was at max capacity. Right now we're at capacity. I'm only letting. Um, so I have um, 45,000 people watching on Instagram Live. We would love to shout out. I'll let you in the back. Okay? All right, let's go. I don't know. Wait, is that actually real? Like, if that's actually real, that is absolutely insane, dude. 46,000? What the heck? That blows my mind. That one's amazing. Whoa. What the heck? Yo, this is cool. Take apart your lighter. Flint? There's flint and lighters. I guess that makes sense, but I never really thought about that. Interesting. I guess that's how they light. Heat it till red. Yo, this is interesting. This is interesting. What? Oh, because the flint hits the ground and it's hot and then it like sparks on the cement. Wow, that is fascinating. Okay, okay. What, what? cousin fucking tarnation? Alabama Betty Crocker, Miss fucking Betty White shit is this? That is perfect. If you fall off or drop anything, now you're guaranteed to absolutely get mowed over. Tip for newlyweds, send a wedding invite to every billionaire whose address you can find because it's a 50-50 chance their assistance just send you a gift without wondering who you are. <laughs> Don't you think like the, the freaking people that their assistants probably know them pretty well? But it might be worth a shot. That's kind of smart. Someone try it. So I told my brother to hide my Chick-fil-A okay. sauce. Where'd you hide it? <laughs> I like his it? face. <laughs> Brilliant. I guess if you're gonna hide something, that's not a bad spot to hide it. That's pretty good. Here's a little life hack for anybody who is currently taking Zoom classes online and they are- That's you guys, probably some of you, you know what I'm saying? Required to keep their camera and mic on. Yeah. First, send your teacher an email saying that you can use your microphone, but your camera is currently broken on your computer. Next, when you're in the Zoom call, it should look like this for you. This is a really edit, but you get it. The camera's off, initials are on the screen and that box thing. Now oh. here is the most important step. While your camera is off, grab your phone, and if you have a speaker, get the speaker. Go on YouTube and look up dog barking noises. Bring the speaker to the mic, and then all you have to do is this. Sorry, professor, my dog is in my room. I'm just gonna turn off the mic. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh. Through the vent? Oh, no. Oh, multiple. Wow, they used the shower curtain and put it into the shower. Oh no, that's actually so smart. And it kills me because I had a leak in my bathroom and I never thought of that. You got, you got some, some life hacks going on here. Just open up your dressing. Oh, you know what? People used to do this all the time when I was in college. This is a pretty smart play. And then you just shake the box and it's like the easiest salad ever. <laughs> it's not bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Osha watching this one right now, getting ready to pull up on this small business. It actually, it actually seems to work pretty well though, right? Dang, what do you do as a boss when you see that? And you're like, my boys are getting the job done. They're working very efficiently. But at the same time, we're about to get an OSHA violation. That download already seemed pretty quick, dude. That was like a third. <laughs> it's just pouring it down. Gravity. <laughs> That was kind of good. What's the weirdest thing your family did until you grew up and realized? Weirdest thing my family did? If I were to answer this right now, I would say, um... We used to have a stream in our backyard and we would build dams on the stream as a young kid and I would try to flood the entire world thinking that I could do it. Also, I was afraid to dig in sandboxes. I thought we would dig to the center of the universe and my parents convinced me that that was correct. I thought we would like die at the core or something. 
my parents taxed my chore money at 25%. So um, like when I was 10, I got <laughs> 10 points for the chores every week. Whoa. And I get $10. And then 250 of that would go to family taxes. And then I'd have to put 250 in a savings account. And then I would get to keep the other 50% for spending. I don't know if that's like bad or like absolutely brilliant. Like, yeah, that's pretty, I feel like that's pretty smart, but man, I don't know. Babe, help! Help! My ankle! Babe, please help! Help, help! What? Try and get it down. Oh, oh, that was pretty decent. That was pretty decent. How do you even get it out there in the first place? That's half the challenge. Oh, this guy's cleaning the elevators. <laughs> He's just writing it down. Oh, that's amazing. Wow, is that dangerous? Are you gonna like lose a finger like that? Probably not, but ele escalators kind of freak me out, dude. Like there's like always a chance. It's never a 0% chance that you're not gonna get sucked into it. This sentence was requested by someone in my comments who wanted to annoy their sibling. Wow, this is great. If you have siblings, pay attention. Instead of saying, hey, can you grab me some water? Instead you can say, Good morrow, blood relative. If it isn't too much of an exasperation, could you clutch me a concoction of hydrogen and oxygen particles? This is great, this is great. If you're about 13 years old, you use this one right here on your family, they're gonna absolutely disown you in a millisecond and probably hate you for the rest of your life. The easiest way to always get out of a DUI. When an officer pulls you over in suspicion of drinking and driving, he may ask you to step out of the vehicle to do a field sobriety test. As you step out of the vehicle, you are gonna trip and fall and hit your head. You don't have to hit it too hard, just like fall into your hands oh, and oh. act like you have a concussion. I don't like, I mean, first off, don't drink and drive and you won't even ever be in this situation. He'll ask you if you need an ambulance, you'll respond making incoherent sentences and he'll probably call you an ambulance. When the paramedics arrive, they'll deem you might have a concussion, they'll take you to the hospital where the officer will arrive with you and then they'll try to take your blood. However, they must oh. get consent from you in order to withdraw your blood. What? And you can refuse this, but by refusing this, you may be obstructing justice, which means you'll lose your license for about a year. And if you say yes to the withdrawal of blood, they may use that evidence in court to deem you were drinking and driving. So you're not gonna say yes or no. You're concussed, remember? So you're gonna say mumbo jumbo, up. nonsense sentences. They might get frustrated and withdraw it anyway, and then your lawyer can have that thrown out of court because you never consented to that blood being drawn. <laughs> that is messed up, dude. Yes, it's kind of genius, but first off, don't drink and drive. Second off, this feels so illegal to me on so many ways, dude. That is like dirty. That is absolutely dirty. Oh my gosh, that one is... Oh, oh. Yo, this one's legit for all my school people out there in class. Let's see what we got. If your teacher assigns you a long YouTube video to watch with questions, if you click on the three dots and click an open transcript, what? it will allow you to see the transcript of the video, and then you can also control F or control search for specific what? words or phrases in the video. I didn't even know that, and I've worked on YouTube for six years making videos, over 2,000 videos. I did not even know you could search for a transcript. Here's a little trick for working smarter, not harder in the yard. Last patch of grass to cut. Yeah, that ain't working. Got tired of moving this thing by hand. This is what I do. Ooh, that seems a little dangerous, because yeah. if you slip, <laughs> I guess it works, but if you slip, it's gonna like kind of, I don't know, that seems kind of dangerous. Oh my goodness. See, a lot of times when I, when I used to like shovel gravel and stuff, they just pour it in a big pile. This dude freaking getting the job done right now, making your job easy and his job easy. That's perfect. I mean, that's a perfect spread right there at Rocks. I don't know, I don't know if it is or not, but it looks like a perfect spread to me. He's telling me to Google the things that I want. <laughs> Miss. Why would I do that when all I have to do is just talk it into my phone and my FBI agent will make tailored ads for me for the exact item? This literally just happened to me yesterday. I was like thinking about getting into boxing and getting like my own small boxing bag. And suddenly every single thing I see is a boxing ad. And I'd actually, I ended up buying one of them. So it worked, but hey, um, I just want to say it's a little bit invasive. I liked it, but it was invasive. Okay. <laughs> Trying to make a perfect circle. Uh, okay. Not easy. How, how is this smart? Still not easy? You're gonna trace something? <sighs> I'm trying to figure this out. Yo, my dad has the same ceiling fan. Wait, what? Oh, is that really? That, does that really work? It's not gonna work, is it? It's gonna be all squiggly. No way. Not, this is literally the last thing I expected. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so which doctor mask? I would love to roll up with one of those, just casually pull out one of these old plague masks from back in the day. That's wild. Wait, is that a balloon? What kind of balloon is that big? I'm confused. 
What is that? Is that actually a balloon that big, like for Valentine's Day or what? <laughs> what? It looks like a stuffed animal to me, not a balloon. How did that even work? What the heck? Is there tape on it? Oh, there is. There's a big fat thing of tape on it. Wow. This bird is about to get fed by this machine that accepts bottle caps and gives food in return. So, okay, watch, watch, watch. Oh! What? This is such a smart bird. I thought it went down in the hole. Wow, that's like really cool. Like using animals in an economy for birds. <laughs> They'll be fighting over a bottle cap. How to make your essay longer. No guarantee that your teacher's not gonna see through this and be like, I know what you're doing. But if you need one right, my guess is you're gonna write a bunch of text in white. Change this means to, this actively illustrates that. Change oh. in conclusion to. So if you do like control F and replace certain words with these to sum up everything that has been stated. I didn't know that. to the reason for this occurrence. Change Wow. So to thus the conclusion is that you would literally read a paper and it'd be like thus the conclusion is so in order to understand in order to be and be just these strings of sentences Secrets teachers don't want you to know. This is good, especially if it's by a teacher. This is important, kids. Listen up. I know some of you are like 10 years old. Pay attention. You can read during presentation. Woo! No freaking way. I could use that on exams or something, I feel like. Dang. Wow, that's actually pretty sweet. I don't know really what you could use it for because I'm not in school anymore, so I don't know what it's like. Oh! Oh my gosh, guys, I actually am gonna do this. I'm actually doing this right now. I'm, I'm a, I would show you guys, but they put projectors next to their bed and then like play music and it looks like this like peaceful window. You can like change your scene. So I saw this and I thought this was so cool. I'm actually making that right now and I have now surrounded my bed with curtains on all sides so it's pitch black and then I'm gonna use the back walls of projectors so I can do this. I'll tell you guys how it goes. Okay, the reason I'm not gonna do this one right here, folks, is because I'm gonna be self-conscious of other people seeing what I'm watching. Literally, that, I, I actually don't watch Netflix and airplanes because I don't want people to see what I'm watching. I don't care what it is. It feels weird to me that people can see that I'm watching it. Like, I'll be over in the corner like this. I, I don't, even if it's like freaking SpongeBob, like I, nobody can see it. I feel so weird about it. I've always had an issue with my phone falling off my bed at night since I don't have a table next to my bed. And so it I falls off because I swipe my arm and poof, hits the wall. And I'm like, oh, I cracked my phone probably. I to make a phone holder. Okay. I drew a little sketch so I knew what I was doing. And here's Young my 3D pen. Here. Here's oh, me doing the back of Whoa. the phone holder. I'm doing like a crisscross thingy, two holes at the top so that I can zip tie it to my bed frame. And then I did the same what? for the front minus the zip tie holes. And then I just made the side. Wow, I actually really want one of those I know pens. this isn't the neatest, the but I just wanted something functional. I would do this too. I would force myself to find reasons to use it. Could I have just used a Ziploc bag and tape probably? So that it would be breathable. I didn't want it to be solid because I wanted my phone to not overheat Wow, in those it. pens are cool. So I did the two sides and then the bottom, I left a hole for the charger, wow, which is very important. Cool. And then I just put it all together. And then I- Oh, just that's actually amazing. I absolutely love that so much. This makes me want to get a 3D pen and do stuff like this. This is actual useful DIY project here, folks. Did you know your sun visor can do this? Yes. Who no. didn't? Extend okay, I didn't know that. Anymore. Really? You can extend Put it back out? In. Really? Close it up. Can you really extend it? I've driven for up 26. I've, dri wow, I've driven for 10 years now. That's, that makes me old person. I had no idea that you could actually extend it though. I gotta test this out. Maybe next week we'll test some of these hacks in real life to see if they're real. If you ever need a book for school, you just go to this website. Okay, I'll tell you what my school teacher taught me. There is an Indian website like in India and this website allows you to get the Indian international version of the book. And that book is like 10 bucks and ours were like 500. It was the exact same book. B dash okay dot. This might even be the same website. And it takes you to this page where you can search for the book by title or Oh, ISBN I don't think number. it's the same. I've never seen it. This is just a book that I need to last semester. You just type it in, press search, and it gives you all the books. I draw dang, I feel like I probably have that same book. Yeah, I have like 16 hydrology books behind me. I don't even know what I, is in any of them, but that's a pretty good hack. I like that. This is how to see your breath when it's not cold outside. What? And no, it's not by vaping. Okay, this seems cap. Click your tongue on the roof of your mouth like a sound but with your mouth closed and full of air then pressurize the air like you're trying to blow it out but you're holding it in with your hand like a lot of pressure then slowly let it out and putting it all together <laughs> when you click your tongue you're making tiny water droplets in your mouth that can more easily evaporate then by pressurizing you're actually turning that water into a gas it becomes water vapor in your mouth come on Okay, okay, this is not working for me. I don't know if this is real. Can, I, can anyone do that? Oh, how to take fancy pictures. I w used to be in photography. I loved it. And then I realized I sucked at it and I quit doing it. But hey, hey stop taking we pictures like this. Stop. You take it like this instead. Turn on live mode. Put your camera's ratio at I'll tell you what, that is a dangerous thing to do. The amount of live photos I've sent on accident to people. Use 0.5 zoom. 
Then you're gonna wanna take your picture from a low angle. Who's gonna remember this? And tilting back your camera to give a little bit more perspective. Ain't no way. Once you have your shot ready, you're just gonna take a picture. Then what you're gonna do is open up your camera roll, find that picture, you're gonna swipe up on it. I didn't know you could do this. And then choose on long exposure. You should end up with something that kind of looks like this. Definitely a beautiful picture, to be honest with you. But like, I take pictures, I never even look at them again. I got all these pictures from like five years ago. I have not once looked at them, ever. So I never post on here, but I really wanted to share this trick on how to get rid of stains that are... Yeah, I know how. You throw it away. So what Toss you're going to want to do is put a little bit of dish soap. This is already too much work for me. It's like a, it's like a 30 cent thing. I mean, this is like less than a quarter to buy. You probably got this for free from, from like Chinese takeout. Ain't no cleaning that. Then you're gonna wanna add a few pieces of ripped up paper towel. Add. And then seal it up. I mean, this all makes sense to me. And then get to shaking. Shake it pretty vigorously. I Really adding a piece? I mean, this seems like, I feel like it's not gonna work. And then I'm running out of time, but you'll see once you rinse it out, it's completely clean. It doesn't have that greasy feel anymore. That's it? Wow, that actually really was kind of good. I mean, it actually worked and it was kind of fast. Is this like a bag to pee in? Oh! Wow, okay, actually pretty darn smart. I'll be honest with you. That's a good hack. You could actually use this one if you had little babies or if you are a little baby. I would use this as an adult, to be honest with you. Coordinator for admissions at the university. She was from Venice, California. I would have thrown in something. Oh, I was originally- Voice from typing! Oh! If you can find a connection to this person without it seeming- Wow, familiar, that's you know, smart. Definitely... I would never read it, but it is very smart. Now we need to get AI to take it to a point where it can list it out and then summarize it for us in bullet points. It will automatically take your notes. That's a million dollar idea. Someone make that. How to get Netflix on your Apple Watch? Nah. <laughs> Wait, really? That would be awesome if that works. No way. Show me a movie playing. I don't know. I don't know if it actually works, but that's actually so cool because if you're going like, to get a dinner and you're like really bored, just be like, <laughs> this is watching Netflix. Wow. How would they just... Whoa, traffic cones go into little circles like that. <laughs> what? No way. What's a piece of information that you learned that feels illegal to know? Zach here. Oh, my name is Zach too. We're both Zach. Look at us, me and you, both Zach. Who would have thought we'd, we'd be here today? It still blows my mind that you can buy hotel points and stay cheaper than what the hotel is going to sell you that room for. Really? Show you, baby. One king bed, two ninety nine. Three hundred bucks a night. Pretty pretty expensive. Total with taxes, Woo! almost fifteen hundred bucks. Is that for a week? That's a lot of money. Same room, viewpoint rate. 12,000 points per night. This is a lot of math, I feel Total like, but hold on. for the stay, 48,000 points. That seems way more expensive to me. Hyatt has a sale going on until the 31st. You can buy those points for 864 bucks. Zach, that's like half off. Wow, so if you buy points, you could save half off. 864 bucks for a week is like the price of like two nights on the regular price. Hold up, if I went on vacation ever, that's something I would use. Oh, I might save this one. I'm gonna give that a like so I can come back to it. Guys, so this bracelet connects to this luggage. That seems like already way too expensive. First off, that's a huge bracelet to be carrying around on an airplane. Second off, your luggage is probably gonna get stolen now. Check this out. It turns green and then it just follows you everywhere. I mean, it, it is pretty oh, sweet. Cool. It is weird. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll be honest. I kind of like that. I might buy it. This is something I could see myself buying just for the attention. That's pretty cool. I bet it's like five hundred dollars though. Don't they waterproof? Don't they have like a like a? Yeah, they have like a water extraction button or something. I don't know how it works. I have, I've, not, I've never gotten mine wet. In fact, I hardly wear mine because I bang it on everything. Like I literally bang it on my mic right here, so I can't wear it when I record. So I just never wear it. Oh yeah, no, you, of course you can do that. You can edit it to say whatever you want it to say. I'm gonna do it right here. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna do inspect. I'm gonna change it right now. I do this all the time, it's kind of fun. We'll take that 60 and we'll turn it to 50 billion. Click enter and now boom, it has 500 billion likes, guys. Look how epic that was. Yeah, this is a little fun trick to do on people. Wait, there's a Snapchat camera? What? No way. You can put the beauty filter on? I didn't know that was a feature. Four methods to get actors to fake cry in movies. Okay. The first method consists of a makeup artist applying eye drops to the actor's eyes. 
Method wow. two consists of a really got to be a makeup artist to squirt water on your face. Applying Vaseline beneath the eyes to give oh. the appearance that the actor has been crying. The wow. third method is a tear stick, which is just a lipstick applicator filled with a menthol solution that makes the eyes tear. Oh, that would be awful. <laughs> that would burn. Method four consists of literally blowing menthol infused air oh. into the actor's eye so it gets irritated and tears up. I always thought they actually cried because they were like sad. Try to make themselves sad. I'm gonna try it right now. Uh, no, I can't. Uh, actually, I'm, I am. I'm watering up a little bit. I think I can. If I, I mean, you see, my eyes are getting a little bit glazed. Like I can, I can almost make myself cry. You just gotta make that face, and it comes. Look at that. It's, it's moist. It's moist. My eyeballs moist, guys. Try it. See if you can do it. Oh, how to, is this how to secretly take a screenshot in Snapchat? Pay attention. I know y'all doing this. Here we go. How do we do this? Look up high. Oh, wait, wait. So you, so you click look up and then swipe out. And then when you go back to the screen, the swipe up's gone. You take a picture. It doesn't count it. What? I'm going to test that right now. Hold on. Give me one second. Let me see. Hey, it's not working for me, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is not working for me. I've tried it like 10 times. Maybe it's like a timing thing, but I, I ain't getting this to work. I don't know, man. Psychology hacks lawyers use. When someone what asks you was that transition? a tough question, always respond with, that's a great question. They'll be less critical about your response because you just complimented them. Wow, that's a great question. Can I manipulate you guys into subscribing? Check me out. Boom, bam, bam, bop. Bada bop, boom. Pow. Oh! I don't understand what just happened there. How it happened. I was today years old when I learned you can- What? No, you cannot silence a microwave. The damn microwave. No, you cannot. Five seconds. No. 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 Is this real? Because I have literally based my entire life around beating, doing things before that microwave beeps. Like I will literally do the dishes, clean the freaking- I can't even talk. Is if this is real, this is game changing, guys. What? Okay, okay, okay. So I, I feel like that's a pretty interesting idea. I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be used, first off, but I feel like wouldn't they melt? Like, isn't that just made of plastic and, and isn't putting that on the isn't it gonna melt and you're gonna get plastic? I don't know. What is this right here split for? So I pull on it. Oh no. To see what's going on, oh, and it no. splits. What? And the Gatorades just come right out, and then Dude. you restart your split here, and you pull. Boom! Another what? Gatorade falls right out. How am I? Did I? Am I just? I will spend like an hour trying to rip a single Gatorade out, and then when I do, all well, the other ones fly and fall on the floor, and I'm like, well, that's just how it's made. Shouldn't they make a commercial and be like, hey guys, did you know that you're actually all eating Gatorades wrong, and this is how you really do it? I know you don't eat Gatorade, okay? You drink it. Wow. <laughs> okay, that is weird. My favorite part of this is the top comment that just says reverse, like the thing sucked it up perfectly. I was today years old when I learned this. What do we have here? You're removing the tendon from your chicken, it looks like. I don't know if that's actually a thing you do or not, because like, to be honest with you, I don't even know if I've ever seen that in the chicken I buy. I, I don't buy the most nice chicken, but I've never seen that. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. Someone tell me, because otherwise I've been eating chicken wrong for like 26 years of my life, and I, I feel like pretty bad about that, you know? What's a shortcut that you learn in school that feels illegal to know? Go to a website that has stuff blurred out. Highlight what you want to unblur. Oh, I bet like I know this one. Right click page source, and then you can inspect it and read it. Click. Hit inspect element. Boom! I did this in college blurred, so much. And change it to none. Dude. And just hit enter, and boom, it's not blurred anymore. In college, we did this when you would like try to get a book or something, and the answers or the whatever you're looking for is blurred. You could do this, and it would just show up. Oh, man. I got a lot of free reading from that. Here's how to save a TikTok video without the watermark. Wait, this is actually so useful, because I can then spam all my TikTok videos that went viral on my YouTube Shorts channel. This is going to be good. Choose your video, then hit the arrow. Then press live photo. Allow it to convert. What? Next, go to your camera roll, hit the bottom left button, scroll down, and click save as video. Voila! What? Video really? Saved it's that easy? I don't know if that actually works because I have tried this before and I have had to download apps that literally charge you. It's like so scammy. They're like 20 bucks a week for life. A week. I first learned this is when you charge your Apple Watch and this shows up. You can just yeah. press this and yeah. the percentage will show. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I got an Apple Watch right here. Didn't know that was a thing. And honestly, feel like I don't care because why do I need to know the exact percentage? You know it works in milk, but what about water? Dip cocoa powder into water cocoa. and it will come out completely dry. Dip it again 
and it might absorb some of the water, but with just a little tap, the water will start to go away what is because this? cocoa Baking powder cocoa? is hydrophobic. You can do this over and over again. Huh? Try it for yourself and follow for more science videos. I mean, it looks fake to be honest with you, but I'm still trying to figure out what baking cocoa is. Right guys, why am I only finding this hack out now? Stick the kettle on, get a plastic bag, put some cold water in it, put your boiling water in from your why? kettle. Watch you don't burn yourself. Looks like someone loading up a bag with gasoline. Grab your bag, you? make sure it's not leaking. Why? And run. No! I feel like this is a very bad idea, folks. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is how you crack your windshield. And I would say probably don't particularly do this one. Ever wonder where chocolate gets its shine or its crunch? <laughs> no, I've never wondered that until right now, but now I am wondering it. Something called tempering. What? This is what untempered chocolate looks like. Gross. You'll need chopped chocolate, grated okay. cocoa butter, a okay. bowl, a spatula, and a thermometer. Pour your chocolate in. Dang, I don't have literally any of those things. I don't even have a bowl. Over simmering water. Melt to 115 degrees. Let it cool to 95 good. degrees and shake in your cocoa butter. What is cocoa butter? What are all these different cocoa things I didn't know existed? Cocoa butter, cocoa beacon, bacon, whatever that stuff was, powder or something? How to never pay for popcorn for a while. Proceed with caution. Go to the movies, duh. Buy the biggest refillable popcorn. That's like 50 bucks already. You gotta buy 50 bucks worth of popcorn just to start this hack, but let's see. When the movie's over, don't throw the popcorn away. Take it home, clean it, because chances are you're gonna go back to the movies. Oh. Bring your popcorn with you. Place it really? outside of an exit door. Next to a trash can is ideal. Bonus tip, fill up your bucket with snacks. Now go, pay for your ticket, get in there. Go back to the exit door. Oh, wow, that is a immense amount of work. I was about to say it's not worth it. Like you put your popcorn by the door, pick it up when you're already in, and I feel like that's, it's not a bad hack. But first off, you got them all security, they're gonna catch you. Second off, there is a possibility here, folks, that they maybe remember that you didn't buy popcorn. They get a little bit sus, then you get arrested, go to jail, spend your life in prison, don't get out until you're 87 years old, and by the time you're out, the world doesn't even exist anymore, and like your life's over. Did you know aluminum cans have a plastic liner on the inside? No. Not gonna lie, I'm curious to see what that looks like. Me too. Let's go. We're gonna start by making a sodium hydroxide bath. Wait, if there's plastic on the inside, why not just use a plastic bottle? Why, why need the aluminum in the first place? We're gonna scuff up the outside of the can with a little sandpaper and then immerse it in the sodium hydroxide bath. Okay. Oh, just half of it. Oh, I like what he's doing. Wow, look at that. The reaction is between sodium hydroxide and aluminum, which liberates hydrogen gas, the bubbles you see here. It just fell over. Something happened. Uh-oh. My man better run. It's literally not falling over. What? What? That is so weird. Dude, that's wild because what if you did that to the entire can and you have this like squishy bulbous sack of Coke? Why do I feel like that'd be more fun to drink out of than a bottle? Like you would swing it around like a little, you know, plastic sack. It'd just be fun. I think that'd be a good thing to do. Did anyone know about this? If you turn a fan on in a car yeah. and put on the air conditioning. Yes. Inside the glove box, there's actually a vent. If you what? turn it, it's blowing out cold air now. Because it's coming up to summer now, and inside a car, the drinks get boiling hot. You can literally store your drink. Okay, wow, that's something I really need to test. It sounds fake. I'm not going to lie to you. It does. And, and second off, whose little area, the compartment is open? Like, isn't that where we either store our trash or the old documents we bought when the car came with it that we don't really need, but we keep just in case? Dude, this is the same dishwasher I have almost. I have the same wine things right there, and I don't know how to use them. So I'm about to learn, I hope. Oh, you put them on an angle. Is that really what you do? That's how you use them. I always wondered, because I can never get my wine glasses to fit. And when I put them in, and they're straight up, they're too tall. So you put them on an angle. Oh, no, wait, it still doesn't fit. Hold up. So how do you actually use them? I still, okay, never mind. What? No way. I got to lower the whole thing just to wash it. Man, I'll just put them in sideways. I ain't about that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Okay. What happens next time it comes back? You got two bites. That's it. You better savor them or find a way to make that thing get lower. Turned on to crack. What? Get your aluminum foil. Put it in your sink. Take your baking grease. Pour it in. Wow. Okay. And you know what? Dry. That's actually not a bad idea. A Easy peasy lemon squeezy and you just throw it out. I mean, it's not a bad move. I mean, what I do is leave it in my pan until it hardens and then scrape it out of my pan and it's just a mess. Like this actually would save me some time. I actually could use this. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard practice in your life. I'll go first. Making this into a spoon perhaps? 
I don't know if that's very sanitary though, because that lid is like being exposed to like all the dirt and dust and things. I didn't see you wash it. I saw you take it off the lid. So, okay. I mean, you're using the inside. I guess that helps. <laughs> it's not it's not the worst idea i've ever heard to be honest with you like it's like a mini bowl cool it off get it out of the hot liquid it, I, it's pretty good can i have your pack of gum the whole thing no okay one piece sure wait did you just use the door in the face technique uh what do you mean you asked for something crazy first so that when you asked for what you really wanted i said yes because it seemed more reasonable dude Copy. how'd you learn this i follow josh O2's okay i literally actually do this all the time i did it on accident growing up as a kid when i found out it worked i kept doing it i learned it had a name later on but i'll be like yo dad we should uh you know we should go to disney world and he'd be like what and i was like oh wait we can't Okay, maybe we can have Burger King. He's like, yeah, we'll get Burger King. Like, I, I use this as a kid. It actually works so well. Highly recommend it, guys. Oh! Wow! Lifehack, I guarantee you didn't know that. Oh, my computer is so slow. No worries. Just press Command Shift G. Type in exactly that then press enter. All of these files have been created by apps in the past and are no longer necessary. Delete them all. See, that scares me when I hear something like that. Cause I'm like, there could be files in there that I need them. Maybe I need it, maybe I don't, but I'm probably gonna never test this one to be honest with you. I will never try it. Life hacks, man. Designed to give you a good day every day. Cause starting a year ago, I started recording my own data diary of sorts. The most important category was whether or not my day was good or bad. Because from there, I could use supporting data to correlate whether or not exercise or the weather, or whether I had meat, caffeine, or alcohol, which friends I saw, or what activities I did influence whether wow. my day was good or bad. So using pivot tables. This is something I have done, but not to this extent. You could figure out what makes a good day. And it only takes one minute a day. And I've learned so many interesting things about like myself what? that I didn't know before. Like 95% chance of having a good day if it's sunny. <laughs> wow, that's weird. I did this once, except instead of determining if I had a good day, I did it and I, I determined how many times a day I sneeze. And so I called it my sneeze log. Then I averaged out how long I sneeze and I calculated my hourly rate to figure out it baffles me how many people don't even know about this. Like we used to do this back in the days with any type of metal object. Pin, what? paper clip, foil, wire hanger. Listen, no signal, boom. Nah. Come on, man. Y'all showing y'all age right now. This is stuff that we grew up doing. This is how we used to live. Like I just don't understand how that's possible. I think I used to do that with a coat hanger. I have this vague memory of doing that, but I feel like this doesn't work. Me faking my lights so I can fit in with the cool TikTok kids. Wait, that's cool though. What are you faking? Oh, you're just trying to get purple lights. <laughs> That's actually funny. It works so well, though. I love that. Windows plus R? Man, I don't know. Is that like a thing I should actually do? Should I do, should I do this right now? Windows R, control A, control D. I'm gonna do it. I, sh I feel like I shouldn't. I'm gonna do it, though. Windows R, percent, temp, percent. Oh, God, we have so many. This goes all the way back to March 20th. I don't know if I just deleted things that I shouldn't. How much are we getting rid of here? A gigabyte? Okay, so a lot of them couldn't be done, and it's okay, because I don't even know what Adobe Vulcan is. I honestly don't know if that was a bad deal, but it was about a gigabyte of free memory. So if my computer dies, hey, there was this TikTok. An actual life hack. Don't need paper towels. Go to an auto parts store and buy shop towels. They're a thousand times better, and they're cheaper, and they actually hold up underwater as well. Uh, I feel like they're not cheaper, to be honest with you, my dude. That, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are like five or ten bucks a roll. I could get like 20 rolls for that price. Play combo. Here's how to do it. Hi, can I get a chicken tender kids meal? I had a bun. I had pickles. Yeah, I feel weird ordering at Starbucks. All right. They know what you're doing. Like you go to Starbucks and people get like, can I get a cup of ice and then another cup and then mix them? No, this just feels weird because they know what you're doing. And I couldn't do it. Full fries, a lemonade, no ice. And can I get a vanilla ice cream instead of the toy? You open what? it up. You had heck? pickles. You had your chicken. Boom. Okay. Now you have a budget Chick-fil-A sandwich, a side of waffle fries, a drink, and a dessert all for $5. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty cheap, to be honest with you. But, um... It's so much to remember and the social anxiety you'd get from doing it. Like, I just couldn't do it. It'd be weird. Hey, do I always wake up feeling tired? Let me guess. All right. You didn't sleep for eight hours. You're not using the 90-minute rule. 90-minute rule? What's that? Every night, our brain sleeps in 90 minutes. Dude, I literally obsess over sleep. So, like, if this dude's wrong, I will call him out. Because I know a lot about sleep. Cycles. Yeah, so what? Waking up at the end of a cycle will make you feel most refreshed. He's not so wrong. how can I do yeah. that? 
First, decide when you want to wake up, then, and then wake come up back in 90 minute blocks, and finally find the closest. I mean, he's not wrong. Like, it's called sleep inertia. And if you like wake up and set your alarm and then like go back to sleep and then wake up like after 10 minutes snooze, you're back in a sleep cycle and you're gonna feel like snooze for the next like two hours. Like, it's a legit thing. This is real. I'll give it to him. Here's a hack you wish you know sooner. What is this? Take sh what? Is this, what is this? Is this like a, why is this roller so weird? Is that soap? Cleans and makes your wall smell nice. Oh, wait, that's a good idea. I clean mine with a rag and there's like freaking smear marks all over my wall. And I'm like, I guess that's how I'm gonna live life forever. I don't know how to get rid of it. What the heck is pseudo cream? Is this something that I should know? Antiseptic healing cream? I could use that on my chap lips right now. Look at this nasty thing. You put it on your eyebrow? Am I dumb? I've never heard of this. Everyone apparently has it though. Hey, How to everyone. deal with toxic family. Boy, I could use this one when we got here. Thanksgiving, I brought cookies. Wow, you really gained some weight. Hope you <laughs> save some cookies for the rest of us. Uh, do me a favor and don't bring up your LGBT stuff tonight, okay? They don't know that I know this hack. <laughs> he just leaves that. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty funny. Do we all have toxic families? Like at least one or two people in them? Or is that like, is that not, is that not normal? So please tell me. I took up butter carving and that'll be bringing to Thanksgiving. That's all I'm bringing since it takes so long. Oh, that's smart. Wow. Do you know how cool you're, people are gonna want proof now. Like if you come with butter carving, I'm gonna be like, why don't you carve this then? Make me a fish, you know? Know that the apples you buy from the grocery store have paraffin wax on them. That's what people say. And I feel like that's probably true, but I've never scraped it off. Isn't that weird? This wax is used to make apples look shiny. And I like that. They're not shiny and fresh, but it makes them look like they are. Wow. But it can also increase the chance of cancer. I don't know that it increases cancer, but I also don't know that it doesn't. I mean, to be honest with you, I feel like everything increases cancer. So it could. It very well could. You said I can have one sandwich. You said specifically, you're on a diet, can have one sandwich. Yeah. What is that? One sandwich. It's one loaf of bread is what it is. It's one loaf of bread is what it is. I wondered why I got fat, and then I look back at it, and I remember I used to make quadruple decker peanut butter and jellies. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't surprise me anymore. What noodles? Okay, where's your pot noodles? It, in my hand. No, sorry, what is that? This is a pot noodle. Mm, it's absolutely not a pot noodle. Bring it here. It's a pot noodle. He's right, it is a pot noodle. noodle. Yes. Yeah? It's about 5,000% bigger. Wow, than it's even full. It's a pot noodle. It's not a pot noodle. <laughs> what are they? Noodles. And what is that is amazing, but I'm gonna be honest with you. If you're a young child with a high metabolism, I'm not gonna recommend it. But you should have at least one triple or quadruple decker PB and J. I think it's worth it. It's like a it's like a bucket list. I didn't advise that though. If you die from it, it's not my fault. Going undercover to get the attention my husband gets daily. From oh, my cat. look at that! That's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Look at this cat. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. Dude, that's so funny. I love when cats like love you like that. It's just the most wholesome thing ever. I wish I had a cat. Easiest pumpkin carving hack. I mean, this one will come in handy in 2022, folks. I don't know about this year. Get a cookie cutter. Why would you do this? This defeats the purpose of carving pumpkins, you loser. At it. Press through using the other side of the mallet. I like to jazz it out with some gloss. Rust old. Some what? I'm not sure the gloss was necessary addition here, Barbara. But cool design. I wish I had a mouth though. It'd be kind of sweet. How McDonald's food works. McRib. Am I the only one that like isn't like crazy for the McRib? Like it's good. I had it as a kid. I never had it since. Like it's it's all right. Is it actually like this good? Like I don't know. It's about how you'd expect it to look. I mean I don't know. It doesn't look that bad to be honest. I'm here for it. I think it's fine. Is this supposed to be gross me out? Because it doesn't. I don't know. It's like got the timer. You got the nice buns. Like this is actually making my mouth water a little bit here today, folks. I didn't know they heated the buns up. Yo. Now I want one of these. A little more onion though, please. Extra pickles. Two pickles? All right, those are big pickles. I'll, I'll be okay with that. The barbecue station here, it takes a little... It's not the most appetizing look I've seen, but I ain't gonna lie to you. That's probably busted. Why do they do it upside down? Somebody's worked at McDonald's. Why y'all do it upside down? I always do that in these. What is this hack? So what people don't know is this little box right here, you yep. open it. What? And there's fuses in there. And these bags that people don't care about have fuses in there. So you put this in here. Whoa. So your lights can work. That's actually crazy. Yo, that's cool. I bought some Christmas lights this year and I threw the bag away because I thought I don't need that. Wow, that sucks. Three easy home hacks you'll wish you tried earlier. Place a cotton ball with essential oil under your bin liner to repel odors. That's actually not a bad idea. But like if you have a trash can that smells so bad for so long that you need to be like smelling it good with oils, then I think it's just time to change the trash. You know what I mean? Shaving cream to buff mirrors? Just use a freaking mirror cleaner. What the heck? Okay, now this one I could use because my shower is a little bit disgusting right now. I'll be honest with you. 
I would not be happy showing you how bad it looks. The shoe has a tear. Can I get a new pair? You bought that almost two years ago. There's nothing we can do since it's been over 60 days. She has no idea I know. Watch this. I'm not talking about the 60 day return policy. I've actually read your terms and I know that as long as it's been less than two years since the manufacture date found here, it's covered under the warranty. This is literally the most true thing ever. Like if you didn't know this and you buy Nike shoes, you've been missing out your whole life. I have done this for years. And that's how I get infinite free soccer cleats. I was today years old when I found out that someone tells you to break a leg before an audition because they hope you end up in a cast. Wait, wait, wait. They hope you end up in the cast of the movie? Is that actually why? A TV show pilot is called a pilot because it's the first time it's on air. Oh, I didn't get any. I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all. This is mind blowing information. You have an iPhone. Try this. Okay. I have an iPhone. Go to camera. Camera? Set it on maximum 4K. That seems like a lot of storage. Enjoy the quality. Mm, okay. It's cool. It's cool. But your frame rate's going to drop and you're going to waste a lot of storage. I ain't doing it. It really do be looking like yellow poop, doesn't it? I mean, you ever think about the fact that as an American, this is like a normal thing to eat. We literally put a actual yellow sludge into our food and go, boy, that's delicious. A lot of iPhone hacks. You need to use three fingers to copy and paste. I gotta try this now. This is something else. Let's go. Oh, it works. It actually works. I learned that all you need to do is place the tag of the fitted sheet in the bottom right corner. No. Dude, literally changing sheets is like one of my weaknesses. Like it's the Achilles heel of me. I literally cannot get it to work. I learned something new today. How do you? I've never in my life used this product. This is for my European people. This is how your plugs work. I'm from America. I don't even know. Y'all got weird looking plugs. What? Why are we all using different plugs for? We all need to be using the same charger. It just needs to be a simple charger. My design would look like this. It'd be a square with just a circle in the middle. Just a circular today years old when I found out you can put the exact amount you want at the no, you station. Can't. Press clear and enter at the no. same time. I don't believe then this. You put the exact amount no way. This way you don't have to go into the cash. Is this actually real? This would have been a life changing to me as a kid because I hated going into the cash register and waiting there in line for an hour just to get $10 on pump three. Let's get stuff for free on the internet. Okay. We're going to get past this paywall. Right click, inspect, look on the area that's highlighted and click delete. <laughs> no. Isn't that one website like that? I have a limited number of free articles. Can I just get through them all really quickly and see? How many free articles do I get? They're giving me like infinite free articles here. All right, we got it. Right click, inspect, delete. Delete the whole thing. Delete the entire box. Oh, we're deleting the entire website. Smile less. That's true. I read a book called The Laws of Power, and one of them is never smile if you want to be powerful. And the second one is never walk like you're in a hurry. Because then if you're in a rush, it shows you're not in charge. It's pretty crazy. With this car, not only is it a cup holder, it can also oh. hold your car keys and wow. card phone oh. more. Wait a minute, that's actually legit. Every time I get in my car, I don't know what to do with my key fob, so I just freaking lose it. Phone hack. Do you hate okay. that the Safari search bar is now at the bottom of- Why would anyone hate that? Especially someone like me. Like, I'll be honest with you, I got the smallest hands in the world. Push yours up to mine on your screen. Actually, that doesn't work. Anyway, my hands are tiny. That's how far. That is how far I reach up on my phone. Just want you guys to understand. Like, that is it. Here's how to change it. Click on the two A's on the left-hand side, then click show top address bar. Now it's at the top. Absolutely would never recommend it, man. Can't do it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Rubbing your eyes does feel good. Like, if you sit there and, like, you get in the mood. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, just give them a good rub, guys. Let's take a good eye rub break together real quick. Set that phone down. Whoa, where am I? Work on board a cruise ship, and this is... Things you, you didn't, didn't know, know about, about cruise ship. ship. Fact number one, crew members can live up to 30 feet underwater. <laughs> oh, that'd be kind of cool. If you had a window. If not, I'd be scared to death. Fact number two, did you know there's an actual jail on board? How bad of a person would you have to be to be arrested on a cruise ship? Fact number three, there are actually code words that are used on the ship, like Oscar, which means 
man overboard. Fact number four, did you know they go through about seven tons of watermelon in a seven day cruise? I didn't know, I didn't know. Crazy. My lady just said they use seven tons of watermelon in a single cruise. Who eats that much watermelon? Mr. Adriano. He actually wrote a song to mimic the way English sounds to non-English speakers. Said he wanted to do this because he wanted to inspire people to communicate more. In fact, check out these lyrics. These lyrics. All right, I'm gonna read some of these lyrics for you guys. I'm gonna start right here. Indu kamo, nakus, no buy, full love, so op op guys, kamo. Let's listen to it now. <laughs> I, hate it. I literally can't understand it, but I feel like I should. I gotta like it. I mean, then you're not digging around for your scoop trying to get protein each morning. If you have homework, but you just don't know where to start, just go to Google and type in your topic followed by file type colon PDF. Then click any of the links. <laughs> this will show you how to solve every problem. It's true, man. Teachers, like, they work eight hours and they gotta do it at home. They're out here just Googling it, freaking homework questions. You can Google it too. Oh, I know this from Boy Scouts. Yeah, if you get stabbed, don't take it out. Remember this, kids. If you get stabbed by a teacher that's mad at you, don't pull out the thing that stabbed you. This is why. Because you will leak all of your water. Your water that's red will leak out of your body and you're gonna perish. So yeah, you gotta like walk to the hospital with like a knife through your stomach. You gotta do it. Your lint roll can get every little piece of lint on your clothes. Here you go. Life hack. Thank me later. Okay, it looks satisfying, but like, why, why you gotta have much lint on your pants? Like, now I'm like concerned my clothes are full of Oh, they are. Shoot. My shirt is covered in hair. For when you don't have a pound coin. <laughs> oh, a pound coin. That'll be very relevant in America. What even is that? Honestly, they should make these more expensive. With inflation coming up, a quarter is just not enough these days. Make it 10 bucks, all right? You want a cart, you're gonna pay us for it. Mop water before cleaning the floor. So they're really good or really bad? Everything comes up so easy. Oh. oh, that's pretty good. I use a robot vacuum cleaner that has a really dirty mop pad and it doesn't really mop. All it does is just spread the mud around. Say the elastic on masks hurts behind their ears. But hey, mine does. Solution. First, you're gonna part your hair down the center. Give it a comb through. Bro, I don't even know if my hair could part in the center. Let's try it. No, God! No, God, please, no! Yo, this is, hold up, hold up. This is really hard to do. It doesn't, it doesn't do it. Center part? I think I drew in my hair. Anyway, then you're gonna take two elastics, one, two, and you're gonna create two little piggy tails. You should have specified this was for people with extremely long hair only. On each side. How cute. Are you saying you put the mask around the pigtails? Wrap it around your Princess Leia buns, and then your ears won't. Oh, this is the worst idea I've ever seen before. The heck is this thing? <laughs> oh, that's so weird. I would hate squeezing like a little floppy squeezy thing to get my shampoo out, man. I just throw it away before I do that. This is a tire company secret about your tires. If you or someone you know is looking to purchase tires, you need to know about this number right here. That's the DOT number. That? that tells you when that tire was made. 0521 fifth week of 2021. I don't see why I care when my tire was made. The tire companies do not want you to know this because why? they're going to sell you old tires possibly. This right here was built the second week of 2019. I don't care if it's 20 years old. If you're going to replace your tires, you want to see that number. You want to put your eyes on that number and know that you're getting new tires, not one, two, three year old tires, guys. Okay. Dude, I'm not going to lie to you. My tires are literally low air pressure 24 seven. I, I don't care what I do. They just always lose their air. I mean, it doesn't make a difference for me because my tires suck anyway. The cops try to get the <laughs> client a glass of water? No? Why would I not take that? I've never had cops offer me water because I don't talk to them, but why? Oh, they just want to get your fingerprints and DNA. Oh, this is crazy. I finally understand. I, I saw someone say, don't ever accept a tissue or a cigarette or anything because then you throw it away, they get your DNA. That's actually crazy, guys. Don't get arrested though. Easy recipes, y'all. Let's go. Teens and kids, I don't care. I'll, I'll make it. Okay, no crust. I'm here for it. Where do you get baby pepperonis? Whoa, this looks so good. Oh, that looks good. Why you make it? Oh, oh, oh. oh. This looks so good. Why would this literally be for kids? Like, I want this for my next birthday. I don't crack my neck at all because, like, I can't, but I feel like I should. Chiropractors are fake. They're all scammer artists. I don't believe in them. I don't think chiropractors are real. I'll say this till the day I die. There's no... Oh, that actually felt really good. Yeah, look, I don't think chiropractors are real. Low oh, God, that felt so good.
Oh. Here's something I didn't know until I was in my 30s. Bet. How you're actually supposed to wear running shoes. Don't even tell me I'm wearing running shoes wrong, because I, I don't run. This little hole is called a heel lock. No. And you're supposed to use it. No, you're not. Same side lace goes through the hole. Okay. Opposite side lace goes through that loop. What? And... No. Bro, this is real. This would explain why all my running shoes like always twist my ankle. Like I'm walking and they just randomly go and my ankle twists. I'm like, bro, what? There's nothing there. It was flat. The best TikTok hack? Hey, I'm here for it. I love a good hack. Okay, so go into settings and go to accessibility, then voice control. You're going to control it with your voice? Bro, this is crazy. I'm going to go back, swipe down. Wow, that's actually cool. I mean, you could use this to custom create any command. I didn't know you could do that. Next. And it twists for you. I mean, look, it's it's innovative, but at the same time, if you are so addicted to a platform, you got to make a custom code just to swipe while you're doing laundry. That is a little crazy. I honestly, I hate saying it. I feel like it should be illegal. It's not addicting. Very beautiful, exquisite, very happy, ecstatic. I'm gonna I'm gonna use one of these. Very long, gargantuan, extensive. All right. Very fast. Flash. Swift. Okay. Very important. Muy importante. Crucial. Why am I crucial? All right, one more. I'm gonna get this one. Very Clean. Spotless. Spotless. Boom. Actually, very clean sounds better than spotless to me. Oh, I do this all the time. I don't have a pen, but I do it all the time. I actually use this thing. Swing it towards you. Bring back. I do this one a lot. I use this all the time. In fact, it's in my hands while I record constantly. Can't open the can. Keep it under hot water. Are you kidding me? Then it's wet and you can't open it for even longer. Separate the yolk from the white. Do it with a empty bottle. Why would you ever need to do that? Does your towel fall off easy? Try it this way. Roll it at the top twice. Why would you ever need to suck an egg out of the white? I guess I don't cook enough to understand why you'd do that. Feeling stuffy? Yum. No. A little bit stuffed. Okay. Uh, Cairo. Another Cairo, bro? They out here claiming they can fix your nose by cracking your neck? This is why I don't believe in them. All right, let's see. Nose and pull it. Okay. Thumb goes inside cheekbone. Oh, God. Push it. I'm a Cairo. Wait, it worked. No. I mean, look. It's... It, it kind of works. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yo, I got this remote and I hate it because it has like Amazon Prime Here. button and like who has Amazon Prime? You're in a pinch and you need to replace your AA battery, but all you have is a AAA battery. Don't worry, all you need is some foil. Just roll Yo. up some tin foil and put it where the battery's negative terminal connects, and as long as you have enough to fill in the gap, your device should still turn on. Not the worst idea ever, but also feels like it would catch fire. I know nothing about electric, but I still feel like it would catch fire. Okay, I, I see a passport and I'm like, you trying to sneak something through the TSA because of low key. I don't know about this one, my dude. What do you put in there? Wait, what did you? Pillow flies for free? You you get a free carry-on like you literally usually get two free carry-ons this is the dumbest thing like i guess you're flying like spirit airlines i don't think you get anything you don't even get a seat half the time probably worst mistake you make with your teeth not brushing your gums because that's what mine always says Zach, you didn't brush your gums stop rinsing with water after brushing there's no way i'll ever follow this advice why would i not spit this out like why would you walk around with freaking disgust like oh, oh. You're stealing a giant slice. I I've never had a slice that was that thin and long, but I feel like that would be great to eat because like you could get such a great bite. Like, cause then once you get to the, the, the thick part, you can't really dip it in your, your ranch as easy. These are like exquisite painting hacks for someone who does a lot of painting, but there ain't no way I'm doing this. Wait, couldn't you just pull the lock the other way? Couldn't you just... <laughs> I'm burning off won't be able to make it into work today. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty tough. I feel like I could never do this. I'd feel so guilty. But what if this was a live photo and you just see the dude like holding it up and moving it? That's a mistake you only make once. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> wait, is, are they learning how to make? What are they making here? What is this? Oh, they're, wait, what? They actually like made some kind of like cool little like thing, dude. That was kind of cool. I don't know how they did it, but I guess uh, you follow cartoons and you'll learn something. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day. It's now an unconscious standard practice <laughs> wait, in your life. Wait, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, this is actually genius. I do a lot of potato cooking, and I have like one of them auto potato peelers, and I put it in and it goes and peels them, and boy, that thing sucks. This looks kind of gross. There, the amount of actual zero nutrition in this food is unreal. I mean, it might taste good, but my boy, you are eating like an animal. God, this saddens me. This looks disgusting. Nah, you need to like to put some protein. Like it, you need something, dude. It's I guess it's a grilled cheese kind of, but I don't know. I don't like it. Life hack for rising gas prices. Always drive your car in eco mode. What? This seems like a really bad idea. I'm gonna be honest with you. 
Wait, no, you're using candles to heat your food? Oh no. Wait, is this a dumb question? I, ga rising gas mean your oven would cost more or just your car? That's just really dumb. I never realized, is it the same gas? <laughs> I didn't know this. I never like thought about it that way, dude. Hey, we all learn something dumb every now and then. Ready to learn a cool new trick? How to what? This is called the box. How you, how's that? Break Wait, it what? down for you right now. Bottom part of the box will be simply zipping one ball back and forth from hand to hand. Okay. The sides of the box bounce up and down in an alternating fashion. Now we're going to connect them by simultaneously throwing one ball across and the other one vertically. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. It's caught and handed back off to the other hand do, do, underneath the throw. Do, 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 Get used do, do, to this. By I got it, I got it. Placing the other ball. All right, I can do this already. It's super easy. Like, I'm, I'm imagining balls. But watch my hands. Watch this. All right, never mind. This is impossible. What? Why would you want a straw for your can? Like, why would you literally want that? It doesn't even make sense. It's like the perfect thing to drink out of already. Don't throw away the Parmesan cheese lid. It fits on a mason jar. You know what? That's actually a good idea. Yeah, that's actually a great idea. I actually like this one. I could see myself trying that at some point. <gasps> Yawning tired? Can't fall asleep? Dude, this was me last night. I'm on a bed at 10. It was like midnight and I'm still laying there. And I'm like, why can I not fall asleep? Oh, I've been trying for hours. Oh, you can trick your brain to fall asleep faster. Okay. You can't trick your own brain. Yes, you can. Just use brain tapping. Brain tapping? I hope that's not what you mean. That? Our brain loves connecting with rhythmic patterns. So if oh. you create a fast pattern, then slow it down. So you're saying think of sheep jumping and that actually works. It slows your brain activity, which facilitates sleep. So how can I do that? First, start tapping fast on your laps. Whilst tapping, connect a slow and relaxing breath. Finally, relax and slow the tapping down. Okay, it's cool. So your brain would slow. You guys want to know what I do? I have this really weird vision where I literally imagine a giant conveyor belt and my thoughts sit on the conveyor belt and then it moves and then it drops it into the outer space. And I, I don't know. It just does. It's really weird, but it works. Try it. We got a portable pizza hack today. All right. Oh, it's portable already. This is not portable. Can you it's too floppy, dude. Your pizza literally looks like it's covered in grease. Look, bro. Simple. Take it from the crust. No. Only, only, no! This is so weird, dude. This is so weird. What are you doing? Now it's portable, my man. Why do you have to do that? It's portable, my man. But what is that? Okay, get this. I live in Ohio, right? There's a type of pizza they call Columbus pizza, okay? I don't know if it's really just here, but they cut your pizza into a bunch of squares like this, and I literally cannot stand it. I think it tastes like crap. I think Ohio pizza is the worst. Sorry, Ohio people, but is this a thing in other areas? Like, do you all have square pizzas? Like, I want the triangle, man. It tastes better. This is actually very intelligent. Use your cat's claws to open up your products. <laughs> That's so funny. I can't use my own hands because, like, I low-key, like, bite my fingernails off all the time, so can't use them. Can't use them for anything. I'm guilty. This is interesting. <laughs> He's getting him to drink medicine through a watermelon. What? That's so funny, dude. He's like, where's all the juice at? That's actually incredible. And, and it's weird too, because like, if like as an adult, this would work. Cause like, I feel like I would see a watermelon and literally be like, this is literally not possible. You can't drink it. You gotta be pretty dumb. A child, you gotta be a child. This is definitely an interesting idea. You could put a mug on your doorknob. And then if someone tries to break in, the mug falls and breaks and you know someone's breaking in and maybe they'd run away scared. Very creative. Am I gonna do it? Absolutely not. Cause if someone breaks in, I'm just gonna die. Bent porch pirates. Okay. Unite science. I need this and magic. That is sick. Under this table it's a is mirror. a mirror angled at 45 degrees, which reflects the opposite side. That makes it look like you can see right through it. The label on the top gives the wow. delivery people the instructions and it works like magic. I need one of these guys because people steal my stuff all the time. But once I bought 25 pounds of sand to put in my boxing bag and then the thieves opened it up, saw what was inside of it and left it there. This one, okay, all right, hold on. This is smart. Optimal piece of placement for a small oven. Here's the problem. I don't have any more those big paint. What are those things called? Pizza? I don't own any of these anymore because I listened to a TikTok that told me to put them in the oven to clean them. All right, and then do the cleaning thing. Long story short, they were made of plastic, apparently. They melted, and I have not bought new ones since. It still smells like melt. Oh, dude, I actually used to have one of these as a kid. I literally did. Like, we had this. I don't know where we got it, but we would use it to fold all of our shirts. And like, if you never use this as a kid, you don't have a childhood. I remember it. I actually learned that you could just lay out 10 at once and fold them all at the same time, and it would work just the same. So I did that. <laughs> 
Oh no. He's using his cat as a luxury soft background. What the heck, dude? Literally cats are the greatest. They just literally care about nothing except sitting on your keyboard. This is smart. This guy brought an entire tote to put his grocery bags in. There's like certain places you go to where they don't give you bags. And I didn't know this at the time I've been shopping. So like I've had to like go in and like literally carry this stuff up by hand because I didn't know I had to have my own bag. All right. This is stupid. I promise you didn't know. Okay. Believe it or not, elephants actually have baby showers. When an elephant is born, all the nearby elephants will gather together and start tripping no. in order to celebrate. Cheetahs in captivity suffer from so much anxiety and shyness that it makes it dogs. hard for them to breed in zoos. They give them the dogs. The way of helping them cope is pairing them with a support animal. For I've seen this. It's so cute. It's so cute. Behavior. Look at this. A male penguin will propose to a female penguin with a pebble. The pebble hunt can take weeks, as the goal is to find the roundest and smoothest pebble out there. The female accepts, she places the pebble in her nest, which means they're mates for life. Whoa! Dude, penguins mate for life. Can they feel strong emotions? Like if the penguin husband doesn't come back from fishing, does she become depressed? Can animals do that? We need to know. Penguins can get depressed. So someone needs to go take a penguin husband away and see what happens. You were lied to about this song. No. And this is a massive song on TikTok. Okay, what happened? And a lot of people are pushing that this song happened because of TikTok. And it definitely blew up because of TikTok. But we gotta talk about what actually happened. And it starts with this what? video. I need your help. Where Gail asked for song ideas. And she definitely got them. But someone asked, can you write a breakup song using the alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, U. But if we look at the comment, we'll see this account name. And if we go to this account name, we'll see it's private. Nancy but Berman. if we look her up on Google, we see her on LinkedIn. In fact, we see her as a digital marketing manager at Atlantic Records. And if we look up Gail, we'll see that this she's is crazy. actually on Atlantic Records. And even though this was planned, it worked. All right, this is bullcrap. Why am I not getting comments that give me a reason to become famous on TikTok? Can I get an Atlantic Record person to give me a idea, please? And a entire song. Thank you. I can play piano. Coolest PC trick that you have got to try. Open Discord and look for the logo at the top left. Click on it exactly 16 times. And now when you nah. launch the app, an anime voice will say. All right. I'm now realizing something. I reacted to this like a month ago. Okay. I did it. And I thought it was fake. But now every time I launch Discord, it says that. Like this actually happens to me. And I thought it was a Easter egg. Like I was like, why is this not? It's not stopping. I actually turned this on. And now I don't know how to turn it off. This actually works. This is real. I've been dealing with this for a month now. And I just realized why. That is unbelievable. This is actually real. I can't. I can't believe this. Did you know that elephants go through six or seven sets of teeth in their lifetime? Mama just lost a baby tooth. Oh, I thought that was bananas. Oh my god, I was looking at that, thinking like, yo, that is the weirdest rack of bananas I have ever seen in my life. How do they like grow like that? They must be mini bananas or something. And like, I was so focused on the bananas, did not realize there was an entire tooth. This computer's so slow. No worries. Just press Command Shift G. Type in exactly what? that and then press Enter. Okay. All of these files have been created by apps in the past and are no longer needed. So just delete them all. Really? Command A and Command Delete. I mean, it's a, it's a cool idea and I think it probably does work. But all the comments say in caps, do not do this. Don't do it. Do not do like basically, like I said, if TikTok says do something, I want you to take a step back and I want you to think, is this a good idea? And then if it seems good, read the comments. And if it still seems good, just don't do it. Doctor said I have to start eating more fruit, so I figured pineapple pizza will work, right? Yo, so wait. now, Doc, I don't even know how I'm supposed to eat this. Could this be good? A nice little slice. Wait, oh, you know what? You know what? God, I hate the crust though. I mean, look, this is weird. But this also might be innovative. Like this could be, it's enough to get my salivation salivating. All I'm saying is I would try this. When you're super tired, but you only have eight minutes. Okay. Get on the floor. What? And put your feet up on your bed like this or on Hip something thrusts? high, couch, anything. Set a timer for eight minutes and take the best nap of your life. It's a Navy SEAL trick and it works. Now this is not one that I've heard before. And this is interesting. A leg up nap. I'm going to have to give this one a shot. This is very interesting to me. I feel like I'll fall asleep and then I'll be too tired. And then I would like go to my bed and sleep for like three hours. Amazon, my package is late. What's going on? We're sorry. It should be here by tomorrow. I got that right now. They don't know I know this. Oh, okay. Well, I've actually read your terms and I know that I'm entitled to compensation what? if my package arrives even a day later really? than it was supposed to. You're right, sir. Would you like a refund, what? gift card, or free month of Amazon? No product? way. I'll take a refund, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does this mean if I buy something like very expensive and it's late, I can get it for free? Is this real? Because like I bought like some boxes because I'm moving and like they're late. Should I get them for free now? I got to actually try this because like low key, this sounds so useful. Baking a kitchen. She's going to show us how to make a fake kitchen. Oh, 
This it might be actually cool looking. Wow, that does look legit. Wow. Can you imagine someone does this on a Zillow listing? You're like, yo, can't wait to see this new kitchen. And you get in and it's just nothing like the picture because they did this. So this is like a secret house painting hack. Look how crazy this thing is. It is freaking amazing. Automatically paint your corners without needing tape. That's in one of these 18 inch rollers. It's going to let you cover so 18 inch roller, bro. That's massive. Why don't they make them bigger? See, I will never paint my house ever. My walls are ugly poop green. I don't care. I'm not changing them. Oh, something secret about your job. Okay. This seems a little bit sketchy. <laughs> what? Wait, this guy is a reporter and he sits in the back of a van with a TV behind him? Bro, that's insane. No way. Is that real? I can never look at news the same. I, I would have 100% believed that was a real shot, not a green screen. This guy has three secrets about Discord. I'm a Discord master, so we'll see. If you press on dark mode a few times, you will unlock obsidian mode. It's like dark mode. No. That's bull crap. Wait a minute. 100% not working for me, at least. Press the home button 15 times to unlock okay. a special voice. Listen to this. Literally none of this is true. Why did he come up with all this and it actually sounds so possible? All right, so this is a company secret that someone's revealing about the company. This guy says the bank really does reorganize your transactions to make you overdrawn. This happened to me once, dude. I didn't even know I had a freaking bank account still in existence, and it was just charging like on some dumb monthly subscription. I got overdrawn by 20 bucks because of Netflix. I was like, all right, this one says Chick-fil-A sauce is honey mustard, barbecue, and ranch. Yo. This is so much easier than doing it right. I don't know that this is a secret I would recommend necessarily. To be honest, no, no, there's no to be honest. This is a bad idea. Would not ever recommend this move, particularly. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard Yo, I got a story life. about this. Whoa, okay, that's actually very intelligent, fam. <laughs> that's a very great way to say bacon grease. Are you gonna throw it away though, I'm guessing, probably? Yo, that's just a smart idea. Here's my story. My sink drain that looks like this is always always clogged with food and i just don't know how to stop it from happening you are tying your shoelace with a are you like braiding your sh i need someone out there to do this and show me if it's worth it at least one person because if you don't it's not worth it here's a secret about the nintendo switch that you probably didn't know okay. as you guys know it comes with two joy con controllers but because they're such a small size, they can be really easy to misplace. So if it falls in the couch cushion or ends up in the kid's bedroom, all you have to do is go- I've had a Switch for two years and never come remotely close to losing a Joy-Con. Double click that, it'll take you into a second menu. You only have to single click it, my dude. Find controllers, then you just look at this one right here. It'll vibrate. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could do that, actually. I've never had to ever because I've never lost it. But now if I do, I know that's a feature. Very helpful, my guy. Thank you. Yo, low-key intelligent fam. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard. You're melting Vaseline, bro. I'll go first. Wait, are you making a candle? You making a what is this? You're s no. What are you making lip? You're making flavored lip balm stuff. I, I think they're making flavored lipstick stuff. And to be honest with you, I don't like that nasty texture. And I just don't, I don't want to put it on me. Nobody's going to know. You. Nobody's going to know. They're going to know. You. Oh my God. You bandaid your nail on. <laughs> wow. I don't know about that one. I mean, hey, if you're a lady and you need to get your nail back or a guy, use some band-aids or I, I feel like glue or something. The oven door had a cleaning slot to clean between the glass. Huh? Last time I tried a TikTok hack about ovens, it told me to superheat my oven, and I did it with pans in it, and the pans melted. I will not be testing this one. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious this actually standard work? practice in your life. Because, like, I made some... Based. I'll be honest with you. I made some spaghetti noodles the other day, and it took me a hot minute to get... Your hand is too close to that. <laughs> nah, maybe this will help me. Three Sneaky Psyche Hacks, part 64. If you want someone to think about something, tell them not to think about it. People are curious about what's off limits. Whoa. If I want you not to think about something, tell you not to think about it, I know how to use this. Don't subscribe. Don't do it. Always be the first to introduce yourself in a new group. Really? Why? People will view you as the most confident. Yo, I love confidence hacks. I can then take my unconfident self and appear as much more confident. I'll do this. Instead of trying to get someone to like you, make it apparent that you like them. Ooh, why? This is a stronger way to bond. Really? Okay, I think the confident one is my favorite one. Like, I'm gonna be in a group of like 20, 50 people. I'll be like, hello, I'm Zach. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you all. Do you know this pancake trick? 
<laughs> Probably not. Why is your pancake so thin? You made it a pancake hot dog? I just, I don't necessarily understand what the trick was. You just roll a pancake? Why does it have so many likes? Am I dumb? I think I'm dumb. Cream mix your peanut butter and jelly and save yourself some time. Delicious. I... I don't know if this is good or not. Maybe it could be good. I don't know. You know if you mix sugar and baking soda and then blow it, it start to smoke. I don't believe this. And I'm wrong. <laughs> what? Whoa, is it gonna explode or like a low key what's happening? Bell pepper can be a boy or a girl. Girl has four or more parts. Boy has two or three parts. There's freaking genders in your peppers? Also, girl has more seeds than boy. So I want boy. Boy tastes bitter. Oh, I want girl. And girl is sweet and juicy. This is super weird. But isn't that related more to the color than the flavor? You know you can't bite your tongue and say the word Thursday at the same time? Thurs Try it. Th 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 All right, well, that was stupid. He's with his boots unlaced. No Here's way. Why. It's simply because he doesn't know how to tie them up. Teammates have even had to try do them for him. I don't know if this is true or not, but I freaking love Barcelona, so I'm going to hope that it is true and he becomes a legend. I'm trying to find out what a square with curved edges like a circle. It's called a, a circle. Because I thought it would have a fancy name. It's a circle. But it turns out it's just called a... A squirkle. Oh my god, it's called a squirkle. I thought it would be called a circle. I guess that was a stupid guess of me. I, I know what a circle looks like. Stop judging me. Guys, what's the craziest secret you've learned on TikTok? Consider subscribing and then click here to go check out another. Peace. <laughs>